Okay, now we have got the brand new internet application from One UI 8.5 right here installed on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Let's dive in and compare the new version with the previous version of the internet. On the right hand side, I've got the S25 Ultra with the brand new internet application. Let me just show you the version number here. Let's compare the version number. It's 29.0.2.58 and the version number on the current version that we have on One UI 8 is 29.0.0.59. Now let's open the internet application. You can instantly see that there is a brand new background setup here on the new internet and the search bar looks beautiful with a frosted glass design and we have got that shadow effect right behind that search bar. Now this is the older version which is the current version but if you look at the uh, Samsung internet beta you will see the background here as well. So we have got both Samsung internet and Samsung internet beta. If you look at the beta version of Samsung internet, you will see some new feature on this. However, uh, we will have to compare this with the current stable version and this is how they look. Now there are a lot of changes here. Let me tap on the menu option here and this is the brand new menu. We've got the vertical menu here and here we have got a horizontal menu where we have got all these options available. Now this was a revamp which was done on One UI 8 and this is a new revamp that we have, a new option, a new layout that we have on One UI 8.5. Let me know which one do you prefer. Now let's go back here. Let's go to the tabs. Let's see if there are any differences. As you can see on the older version, we have got turn on secret mode option and new tab option here. And here we have got that floating island on which we have got three options. One is the tab, the other one is the secret mode and we also have this sync option between the Samsung internet on the PC and the mobile phone. Now if you did not know Samsung has released a PC version of the browser, you'll be able to sync that browser with the phone's browser. So that is the option here. This shows the synced tabs. Sync the tabs you have open on other devices to keep browsing on the go. Now you can sync it with the tablets, you can sync it with the PC's uh, Samsung internet browser or if you're not using internet on any other devices, you can just leave it as it is. These are the recent tabs. You can see we have got the frosted glass effect again here and here we don't have that. And you can also notice the arrow button here, the back button, it is in circle and we have got that back button here and here we have got plus and search button and three dot button whereas it's different here. We've got the floating bar here as well. And when I swipe up, does it disappear? No, it doesn't disappear. Now let me just tap on search here. This is the search bar and here the search bar is right on top. Now let me go back, tap on the three dot button, tap on the three dot button here as well. And here the sync tab option is available. Whereas here the sync tab option has been uh, added to this floating bar here. And let's tap on view as. We have got list, stack and here you can see this is the grid option. And the grid option is like this. Let me select grid here and tap on OK. It's the same grid option we have. However, the way they are showing the grid option is slightly different. You can see this is more accurate. Now let's look at these settings over here. Let's see if there are any changes here in the settings. We've got the AI features browsing assist, drawing assist and we've got sync option. And here we've got home page, address bar, auto close or news tabs. And then comes the layout and menus, web page view and scrolling. And here we've got privacy dashboard and personal browsing data. Whereas here we've got security and privacy and personal browsing data. Let me tap on privacy dashboard. I'll tap on security and privacy. These are the same options. There is no difference as such here. It's exactly the same. And then we have got sites and downloads, notifications, useful features, and the rest of them are exactly the same. So nothing has changed here. Now let me show you something interesting. When you open the new internet browser for the first time, this is the welcome page that you're going to get. Browse smart, stay private. Tap on continue. You will see summarize and translate web pages, the AI features. Then tap on next. And it says keep your browsing data synced. Now you can see we got the tab, phone, and the PC where we have got the Samsung internet browser which can be synced. Let me tap on next, product your privacy, start. This is how we get to see the welcome pages. Now on the top right, you can see we can change the wallpapers here. I'll tap on change wallpaper, allow all. Now these are the featured ones, some brand new ones available here. We've got preloaded options, some beautiful gradient options that we have. And uh, we have got uh, the abstract options. Uh, some of them we have already seen, but some of them are new. And we've got a few more options like minimalist, space, marine life, wildlife, cities, landscape, flowers, pets, and travel. So some beautiful wallpapers. I wish we could get these for the phone as well so that we can apply it on the phone as well, but we don't have that option. We can straight away apply it from here. 
As you can see, I will select this particular gradient, tap on done, and it's available right here. This is how we change the wallpapers. So this is the brand new internet application that we have now on the Galaxy phones One UI 8.5. If you're interested, the APK link is in the description. Go ahead and check it out. And let me know your thoughts about the brand new internet. Do you like it? Don't like it? Drop a comment. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more contents like this. Hit the like button if you find this video informative. The wallpaper application Wallverse has got this wallpaper which is set on the home screen here. Go ahead check out the wallpaper application the link is in the description thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye